dad. My dad was a head football coach in high school and an athletic director. That means he was over all sports. And uh, so his, his older brother, Mike, played football for my dad. And his mom, Miss Gerald, was a teacher at high school where my dad taught as well. And then he coached uh, Coach Mark's older sister, Robin, in girls basketball. Like Coach Summer said, uh, Miss Robin babysat me. I had two brothers. When I was 10 years old, my middle brother was nine, and my youngest brother was eight. So there were three boys in our family. So we were eight, nine, and 10. That's second, third, fourth grade. You guys are in the fourth grade, right? Fifth grade. Fifth grade, all right. Some of us are fifth grade. Somebody in fourth, fourth or fifth grade, okay. So we were third, fourth, fifth grade growing up. And I grew up going to practices, and my dad coached. He was a head football coach. He coached girls basketball. And he coached baseball. So that's where I grew up. I was, I was lucky. It was, it was fun to go practice at a uh, football field and a basketball court and a baseball field. And then when I got into high school, uh, when I was in the eighth grade, I'll take that back. When I was in the eighth grade, that was the last year my dad was a head football coach. And Coach Gerald was his starting quarterback. He was a quarterback in football. He was a point guard in basketball. And he played, he could have played baseball. He didn't play baseball, but he was a real good baseball player, too. And uh, you've heard how good of a person he is, but he was he was a really good athlete. But he was a good athlete because of the, all the characteristics he had as a person, being a good person. He worked hard. I know you guys have heard, uh, you know, giving your best effort in everything you do, whether it be in the classroom, whether it be playing sports, whether it be at home, with your mom and your dad, or your aunt and your uncle, or your grandmamas, or your teachers, when they tell you to do something, you do it the best you can do. And uh, that's what Coach, Coach Gerald was all about. When I was in junior high school, we didn't have TVs like we do today. We only had four channels, so you didn't have sports on TV all the time. So you didn't get to see all these pro football players, and these pro basketball players, and these pro baseball players, and these college players. The people that I looked up to when I was your age, were the guys that played at the high school there in Mullins. And Coach Gerald was one of those guys. I wanted to be like him. He was real quiet. You could just tell he was very confident and just a good person. He had just had a pleasant personality. I mean, if, if you guys were 10 years old and you were in here and he was 10 years old, he'd be your best friend. He'd be the guy that you wanted to hang around because he was just such a such a good person. And he was so positive uh, when he and so loyal to his friends. Uh, but like Coach said, some of the things that, that he taught, that I learned from him watching him play, and then I learned from him as he got older. Coach Jordan enhanced some things. Confidence is one of the things that he enhanced for me, okay? My dad tried to teach me confidence. But what you're going to learn as you grow older, your parents are going to tell you, don't do this, do this, move over here, do that. And sometimes you're not going to be receptive. You know why? Because you think your parents are telling you what to do. But then with somebody like, I'm going to just use Mr. Simmons for example, sometimes you have to hear from somebody else. And for me, I had to hear from Coach Gerald sometimes. There are some things that he enhanced and instilled in me that made me a better person because my parents couldn't get it through to me. Everybody's understanding what I'm saying. So it makes a difference who you're around and who you're with and who you're friends with. Everybody do understand that, right? Because what happens when you're with a friends with somebody that may not be doing the right thing? What is that? What happens? You get in trouble. Mr. Sellers had you come, shake my hand and look me in the eye. Well, my dad used to tell me, hey, adult is talking to you, pay attention. You know what I'm saying? Well, Coach Gerald was more like, hey, you know, when you talk to people, you know, people expect you to look them straight in the eye. So which one do you think I received better? Coach Gerald. Coach Gerald. Everybody's tracking what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Not to say my dad was a bad person, it's just that. Your parents actually care, and sometimes we come off as being a little bit harsh sometimes. Everybody's tracking, right? Mm -hmm. All right. But, again, I appreciate you guys and what you're doing, trying to help us get this going uh, in honor of Coach Cheryl. Uh, we really appreciate it. So I made it a point to drive, drive across town so I can participate with y'all today. And then um, it's so good to see all of you. So other than that.